Brian Christopher Williams, best known by his stage name Birdman, is known as the superstar rapper, record executive, and entrepreneur. Becoming one of the richest rappers in the world has given him the luxury of some prime real estate throughout his career. Birdman loves to flash his cribs as his homes have been featured in a number of his music videos, notably his Florida mansion making an appearance in his 2016 single Breathe that comes with plenty of remarkable features. We'll take a look at this massive $10.5 million mansion in Miami Beach, acquired back in 2012, located in the prestigious and gated Palm Island, where this grand estate is a rare opportunity. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up to any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Along with slaying the rap game, Birdman is the co-founder and public face of Cash Money Records, which he founded with his older brother, Ronald Slim Williams, in 1992. I just took the street life and converted it into the music. It wasn't about just being kosher with making a few dollars. We really wanted to make some real money in this game. Birdman released his eponymous debut album in 2002 and has gone on to release four solo studio albums in total. Aside from his solo career, he is also a member of the hip hop duo Big Timers along with producer Manny Fresh. Along with his solo work and numerous releases with the Big Timers, Birdman has released a collaboration album and numerous tracks with fellow rapper and protege Lil Wayne, whom he discovered and took under his wings at age nine. Birdman has also made his name by contributing to the making of YMCMB, a combination of the former Cash Money and Lil Wayne's Young Money Entertainment, formerly an imprint under the label. Birdman has also founded the project and hip hop supergroup Rich Gang, bringing attention to artists such as Young Thug and Rich Homie Quan. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so I need you guys to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've also done uh, house tours on Tiger Woods, we've also done Tristan Thompson, if you guys want to go check those out. And if you guys like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications and follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly so we can chat and talk about whose house tour you guys would like to see next. Let's get into the video. Located in the prestigious and gated Palm Island, this grand estate is a rare opportunity. Fun fact, this home on Palm Island is where Al Capone died of cardiac arrest in 1947, eight years after being paroled from Alcatraz because of his tertiary syphilis. Ugh, yikes. Brian Birdman Williams bought the Miami Beach Mansion in 2012 from rock star energy drink entrepreneur Russell Weiner for $14.5 million. Weiner paid just $7 million for the so-called party house back in 2010, but Birdman did major renovations. This estimated in the millions, and some of the rentals include acres of marble, chrome, custom lighting, and textured animal print wallpaper. This palace has no shortage of luxury features, ready to impress big ballers. If you are fancying a Chardonnay, you can dabble in one of Birdman's two wine cellars. If you are partying at the mansion and want to Take a dip, guests are able to choose between two pools. Now, if taking a dip isn't good enough, you can game out with a volleyball court. However, close enough is Palm Island's amenities, including tennis and basketball courts, playground, and 24 hour police security, while also being minutes from the best shopping, restaurants, and airports. Birdman makes sure to take care of his guests with his very own home theater that seats up to 13 people. We know Birdman loves his cars and can park his whips in his six car garage. That dig comes complete with a golden toilet. Yes, you heard that correctly a golden toilet. Two toilets, automatic and they are golden hello so that's there's also a 3,500 square foot master bedroom featuring two private balconies with ocean views and his and her bathrooms and a lodging area with fireplace. The grand foyer welcomes you into the expansive living room with astonishing water views. This dig is set on a 30,000 square foot lot and this 20,000 square foot estate includes seven beds, nine baths, and four half baths. The extensive master suite includes his and her bathroom, sitting area with a fireplace, and a private balcony with even more stunning water views. In case you're hungry, Birdman's Cribs comes with a master chef's kitchen, custom made in all red which happens to be his favorite color. By the looks of the house, almost every room in the home is party friendly. In the living room with the fireplace, a billiard table backs into an oversized book matched marble bar. The living room around the corner from the screening room is Birdman's home movie theater where he would screen latest hip hop videos. Outside the main house and up the red staircase, which is 
Red, because you guessed it, red is Birdman's favorite color. Birdman has a room dedicated to his talents, his own in-home recording studio, where he's worked with Drake, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Gold Records, and more fill the walls, even his Grammy nomination back in 2012. There's a red lips inspired powder room, and upstairs the master suite is mega big, as the bed itself is a custom made double king, complete with an overhead TV that opens from the ceiling. The master bath has a party sized shower where you can play now you see me, now you don't, as you look into the master bedroom with the push of a button, complete privacy. Out back, the home has a private beach. It sits on a 30,000 square foot lot with 100 linear feet of waterfront. Not to mention a private dock with 100 feet of frontage are just some of the luxurious features. The mansion is located in the estate section of Palm Island and features 100 feet of canal frontage, as well as a dock that can accommodate a 100 foot yacht. Now back in November 2017, Fort Lauderdale based mortgage group filed a lawsuit to foreclose on the waterfront property, alleging that Williams and the other companies tied to him had stopped making payments on the loan. Entrepreneur and investor Teddy Trucott bought the Miami beach home that belonged to rapper Birdman for $10.85 million. So Birdman came out of the bottom of his real estate venture. This has been an ongoing legal battle which forced Birdman to slash the price multiple times after it was reported. He was facing $12 million in foreclosure proceedings. The bank was ready to reclaim not only the 19,000 square foot home, but also a 26,000 square foot Miami office building that's home to his hit factory Criteria Recording Studios. From there, it got worse. According to court documents, the producer was ordered to immediately surrender possession of all keys and security system access access to the compound in January. All personal items within the home, including platinum records, bracing the walls, a pool table, and dozens of pairs of shoes were all confiscated and placed in storage. Birdman's living situation is a little off the grid right now, but he recently made up with Lil Wayne and on a radio show interview, Birdman mentioned that one of his life goals is to buy every single project in New Orleans where he's originally from. In April, the cash money mogul stepped in to help pay rent for families living in the community where he grew up, were financially impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, and he wants to do even more. I want to pay everybody rent in all the projects and I want to buy the projects, he declared to Wayne. That's one of my goals in life. I'm gonna purchase all the projects in New Orleans and let everybody live there for free. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Birdman's house in Miami Beach and all the remarkable features he has. After seeing that $14 million crib, what did you guys think? Would that not be the best place to party? Personally, I think I wouldn't make it out alive, but I am a huge fan of that golden toilet, so it's probably the best thing to get as obliterated as possible. Out of all Birdman's features, which ones are your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys would uh, let us know in the comments down below who you want to see next. Make sure you guys ring that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time.